Hey there guys and welcome back to another video. With the release of Dragonflight, there's been a bunch of new mounts added, some easier to get than others, and with that and my love for mount collecting, I'm bringing you 10 more easy mounts to get and to add to your collection. Now all these mounts are mounts that you're guaranteed to get at some point, but may require an item, which is somewhat rare, but you'll get the mount nonetheless. If you guys however would like to see a list of mounts that have more of a rare drop kind of nature to them, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to tell me that's something you guys want to see here. I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time, so let's get right into the video. For number 10, this is going to be the Magma Shell, which apparently has a max 2% drop rate, according to Wowhead, but I got mine in less than 5 minutes of farming, so to me this was the easiest mount to get on the entire list. This mount is gotten by obtaining the Empty Magma Shell, which is a rare drop from the Lava Slurpers around the area on the Waking Shore. They don't hit very hard and are pretty easy to group up and AoE down. Once you've obtained the shell, you have to capture the snail that is located inside a pool of lava here. Now, if you go there and there's nothing in the pool, it means somebody has just gone their mount and you just have to wait for it to spawn. It'll be there in about 15 minutes. Now, the way of obtaining the snail is going to be completely different depending on which class you're in. So all I can tell you is how I did it on my Warlock. Firstly, I moved around my talents here to give me a little bit of extra health with my health stones and give me a bit more survivability. And depending on your class and what tools you have available to you, might be different from what you have for me. Once you're in the lava, you start a cast and your goal is to complete it. And at the end here I died, but that doesn't really matter because the mount's added to my journal as soon as I finish the cast. Next up is going to be the Slime Serpent. With this mount, it was a secret mount that was added in the Shadowlands. Some people had trouble getting this mount when it was current content, and I don't blame you, I had trouble too. Now if you remember before Dragonflight, all you had to do was kill the third and the fourth boss. Well, at some point this changed, and now you have to kill all the bosses in the instance, which isn't much harder now that you're level 70 and get a little gear under your belt. But once you kill the last boss, you just head back to this area, and the Slime Serpent will be there for you to collect it. Up next is the Temperamental Skyclaw, which is quite the mount to farm. Now, the way to get this mount isn't in the traditional sense at all. You have to get this mount by farming three different kinds of food from the zone. This being Tuscar Jerky, Flash Rosa Meat, and Knoll House Special. These are all farmed from the Knoll Camp scattered around the Azure Span. These items, however, can be bought and sold on the Auction House, making them really easy to get, at least on my round. They weren't very expensive either, I paid around 5k for them all. Then once you have all the items in your inventory, you go talk to Zonwagi in the Three Falls Lookout in the Azure Spin, and he'll give you the mount. Number 7 is going to be Lizzie, the Thunder Spine Trampler, which isn't too bad to get, it's just going to take you a little bit of time. You can get this mount by completing a quest chain in the Onari Springs, and once you've gone renowned level 9 with the Centaurs, you'll be able to get the quest. To receive this mount, you have to do tasks for 5 days, which is something as simple as bringing 20 of a certain item, and some resources to go with it. After finishing that, you'll get a cool mount for you to ride across the plains. Flying on in for the next one is going to be the Corrupted Dreadwing. Now, I personally really like this mount, but depending on who you ask, some people might think it's a real piece of shit. You can purchase it from Dawnseeker Karesic in the Tanan Jungle, and you are required to get friendly status at least with the Order of the Awakened, and the bad part is you're going to need 150,000 Apexus Crystals. There is no easy way to get this mount, no matter what you do. It's going to be a grind, and not an easy one. One easy way, however, to boost the crystals you get every day is go to your garrison and use the mage tower. On average, you get around 200 crystals per work order you put in there, which definitely will help you with those crystals. With the mage tower work orders, as well as the missive quest to help you get to your goal, it's going to take you a while, but it's a really cool mount in the end. Hopping in at the next spot is going to be the Patient Bufinid, which is one of the really cool frog mounts, which comes from Zareth Mortis. The quest begins with the Burrowed Bufinid from Avna in Haven. The quest chain will require you to come back and do some dailies for 7 days, which will require you to go get items from across the Shadowlands. Many of them you can just buy off the auction house. Some of them, however, you will have to go find. After completing the 7 quests, you can add this guy to your mount journal to get yourself a pretty cool frog mount with not a lot of investment. Number 4 is going to be the Child of Torkali. Now this one's definitely going to take some time and this one comes with quite a long quest chain for you. Now unfortunately this mount is horde only so sorry to you alliance guys, but the alliance does however get the B mount, which in my opinion is a lot better and more unique than another dire horn. But definitely this one looks probably the best and is very easy to get, it's just going to take some time with your quests. Flying in at number 3 is going to be the Zenit Hatchling. 
This lovely bird comes from a rare that spawns right here in the Onari Plains. The rare's name is Zena Avius, which has a spawn timer of around 2 to 8 hours according to Wowhead. The egg, however, is a 100% drop rate, and once you've gotten it, it takes 7 days to hatch, but after that you got your mount. The big thing here is just waiting for this guy to spawn, and from what I saw, there's usually someone camping or at least scouting out the area from time to time. So go get yours as soon as possible because this mount looks really cool and only shares its model with one other mount, which is way harder to get. Number 2 is going to be the Dusklight Razor Wing from Corthia in the Maw. This mount isn't too hard to get, all you need to do is return 10 lost Razor Wing eggs to the Dusklight Matriarch's Nest. This nest is located at the edge of the map right here. To get the eggs you need to get this mount, you're going to have to kill the anima devouring creatures in the zone. There is however a secret time gate to this mount, that being that you can only get a max of 2 eggs a day. So that means minimum it's going to take 5 days to get this mount. There is however a very very low drop chance of you even getting that second egg. So you might as well be better off just doing 1 a day instead of 2 unless you really want this mount as soon as possible. Lastly on the list is going to be the Deep Star Polar Rip. Now this one is quite rare or I'm just an unlucky guy, I don't know what to tell you. I will say this is one of the easier mounts to get unless you want to go achievement hunting for a jellyfish mount. This mount is number one because of just how cool it looks and I mean it's a flying jellyfish, what can you say? Now this mount isn't too hard to get, you just have to have the patience and time to do it. All you have to do is fish up the strange goop, which can be bought and sold on the auction house, which is what I ended up doing. I ended up buying it for like 39000 It's not that bad. Once you get this item, you can take it to Lady Vash in Maldraxxus, right here. She will send you to go collect a few items in three different locations around the world. Here, here, and here. And then you can summon Harakun. You will have a 100% chance of getting this mount just because you had the lure that she'll give you, and you can get your squishy mount.